Welcome back to Kirsten Mining. Today we are taking a look on how to mine Monero and other Kryptonite coins on your Android smartphone. Let's jump in. We'll be using XMRIG for Android, developed by Gary Lachman or Lachman. You can find it on the Google App Store. Keep in mind it only works on Android 10 or higher. If you have an older phone, let me know if you know any other solutions that don't involve jailbreaking. To get started, just install the app, copy your Monero address and choose a mining pool from the preset options. One of those is the Monero Ocean of XMRIG, which we covered in a previous video. It's a great choice because it will automatically search for the most profitable CPU mineable coin at any given time it offers and exchange the earnings for Monero. This means you will be earning a little bit more XMR than if you were just mining Monero alone. In terms of settings, it's best to experiment and will depend a bit on your phone. Personally, I've had luck with fast mode set to use 50% of the CPU cores. This keeps the phones around or below 70C while still providing more than 500 hashes per second per phone. Before we talk about profitability, I want to mention that I trust this app because it was developed for a community bounty as an open source project. That being said, always do your own research. I'll include links to the original bounty thread and the app's github page below. Now let's address the question on everybody's mind. Is it worth it? In short, probably not. I noticed Snapdragon 8 core CPUs of the recent years performing pretty similar, probably with slightly different efficiency and warmth. But long story short, we are talking about one cent per phone per day as the world stands right now. So Monero dust. Never get a phone just for mining with it. But at the same time, a lot of people have older phones and you can easily charge those from solar power, even just with one small panel and a power station. So free mining. Also, this is amazing for decentralization. I am just one person and have multiple small miners without any special hardware needed. Go Monero. So one experiment for 2023 for me will be to see how much XMR I can mine on solar power with e-waste. Subscribe if you want to follow that journey. This app definitely paves the way to make easy Monero mining accessible to everyone. A big shout out to Gary for this app. Let me know if and how you mine on your smaller devices and if there is other software I should take a look at. That's it. More experiments lined up for the year to come. Feels good to be creating for the channel again. I hope all of you are doing well in these crazy times. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.